Wow! But he said, "I have a, I have How a beef cool with that? you." He said, "You got, you got three way, you know, th- the three discoveries that reveal the mind behind the, the universe." He says, "There's one more. It's math." And I had just read in a long essay that he had he had written, and I kind of knew where he was going with this. But he, so, but he starts to explain. He says, "All mathematicians uh, regard um, are, are basically mathematical Platonists. They believe mathematical." Uh, structures, equations, mathematical objects, as the mathematicians call them, circles, geometric forms, um, have an objective reality. A circle has all the same properties to every uh, geometer, irrespective of their preference. There's, right. We're not we're their not language, their, their location um, the, on the, the earth. The, the, yeah. uh, the quadratic equation or differential equations, they have certain properties and they are stable and they are mind independent and yet they are independent of our perceptions, but they are conceptual. They are not physical. They are not material. So they're objective. They're conceptual, but they do not. But mathematicians believe they are discovered, not invented. They're discovered because they have a reality exactly. independent of ours. Well, if they're that, con- that, that's one of the great ideas of philosophy: right. Pythagorean, Pythagorean exactly. theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That reality exists, whether you're here or not. Yeah, whether the exactly, whether exactly. the firmament is here, it doesn't matter. That's that's a reality. So, that, so if they're conceptual, meaning mental, and they're not. And they're independent of our perceptions. In whose mind do they exist? 